Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It's your boy, Goldie. Smell good? If you're new to my channel, I do discuss fragrance and give style tips from time to time. If it interests you, help your boy out with a subscription. It would be greatly appreciated, okay? The fragrance I'm going to be discussing today is from the House of Latafa. Maison Alhambra, whatever you want to call it, you know, if Maison Alhambra may just be the subsidiary, but they're they're affiliated, they're together, okay? But Latafa, Maison Alhambra, whatever you want to call it, in my opinion, they are taking over the market, okay? <laughs> and they are doing a darn good job, okay? Now, here's the box of this fragrance, guys. This fragrance is called Rose Petals, okay? And this is a clone of Tom Ford, Rose, Prick, Dupe, Inspiration, whatever label you want to put it on, okay? This is the box, has a sticker, which is supposed to mean it's authentic, okay? That's how it opens up, and the fragrance just sits real snug in there, okay? Pretty cool presentation for 23 Bones, man. Almost, <laughs> almost unreal presentation for 23 Bones, man, but... Here's the bottle, very nice bottle, feels good in your hand. Very heavy bottle, guys, very heavy bottle. Man, listen, <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do, all right? I'm gonna put them on PayPal first, all right? Paper, great sprayer, by the way, fantastic sprayer. And I'm gonna do one on my hand. And this is a, oh, it smells good in the air. Guys, and this is a first impressions. I have given this fragrance a full wearing, okay? But I only wore it once, okay? But I did allow it to sit and macerate as well. What does that mean? Some of the Maison Alhambras, Latafas, sometimes you have to let them wait. Now that's not all of them. I have Al Wadna, Al Wasim. I think they're affiliated with Latafa, but I'm not sure. That bottle, I had to pump out some sprays and let it sit. I did the same thing with this one. I pumped out some sprays, let it sit, then I wore it because I want to give you guys an accurate first impressions, okay? Because if the fragrance just shifts as I just get it out the box and spray it, that may not be what the fragrance is really doing. Now, on all of them, you do not have to wait. My Kiss Met for Men by Mason Alhambra, I didn't have to wait. My Infini Rose, love that fragrance, I didn't have to wait. Not all of them have to macerate, but some of them do, so I just, I made space for it and allowed it to, to macerate, okay? But you know we're gonna put them in the air, guys. Here we go. Mm. Listen, rose, sweet, rose and sweet at the same time. Guys, this is perfectly unisex, don't let this bottle put you off. I don't know initially what, because I got my nose on the original Tom Ford Rose Prick, and it's perfectly unisex to me as well. If you look at it from a marketing standpoint, it looks like they are just going strictly for women. But I'll tell you, this fragrance wears unisex right up the line. I am telling you, okay? A few of the nose guys is gonna have all three roses, the Bulgarian Rose, the May Rose, Turkish Rose, it also has saffron. In the comments, guys, what does saffron smell like? I've seen that note a lot. What does saffron smell like? I'm not sure, okay? But it has saffron as well, patchouli, vanilla, and tonka bean. Now, what's different, though, in Tom Ford Rose Prick, it actually has pepper and turmeric, so it has spices. This one doesn't have those spices. The spices aren't in there, but they are in the Tom Ford. However, on the Tom Ford, I noticed it didn't have the saffron, so it's kind of interchangeable how they did that, okay? But guys, I like it. It gets good performance, two days on clothes. How do I know? After I wore it the next day, I stepped in my closet, and I was greeted with rose petals, okay? Rose. Rose with some sweetness, mostly, mostly rose, guys. This is a pure pleasant rose fragrance guys at 23 bones you may want to go for it and check it out okay i would really say any season any reason 
you can dress this down, but it doesn't say t-shirt, jeans, and tennis shoes. It doesn't say that. I will go polo and jeans and some what some of my brothers like to say, hard bottoms, or some say church shoes, you know, whatever you want to call them. But more of a dress shoe, you can go with a, a monk strap shoe or a loafer. This boy right here, I'm going to tell you how to really do it and be live and be player because that's my specialty. With this fragrance, guys, cashmere v-neck sweater. We're in the fall season, you might as well say. Cashmere v-neck sweater, black or charcoal. Dark wash jeans. You can go with a Levi or if you want to jump fly, go with a rag and bone. With some black loafers, it is over with with this fragrance on, I'm telling you. Yeah, man. Just rosy, rosy, a little woody. Rosy, woody, a little slightly sweet, man. That's what I'm telling you, that's what I get. But it's a pretty good fragrance, guys. If that sounds good to you, you know, go ahead and pull the trigger. I don't know how you get your nose <laughs> on these fragrances and ordering a sample of a $25 fragrance. You know, I don't, you know, hey. But do you. But I like it, guys. Not my personal favorite rose in my collection, but it is a solid rose. Nothing is worth checking out, okay? All right, guys. Well, that's my review of Maison Alhambra Rose Petals. Months down the line, you never know what this thing can macerate into, but I did let it sit. I did give it time, okay? Rose woods, a little sweetness. Solid fragrance, perfect for little sex, all right? Well, thanks for taking time out your day to watch my video. It's greatly appreciated. On the way out, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share your boy. <laughs> because Sherrod is caring and Goldie's going global. But hey, outfit of the day. I wasn't going to do it. I'm bringing outfit of the day back, okay? I'll leave it at the end for you guys that don't want the outfit of the day. That's cool. I get that, man. Look out, baby. We have the gray Kango. We have the nerd readers. We have the extra crispy white button-up cufflink shirt. What's that? This is a French cuff shirt, guys, and I'm going to show you. Look at the cufflink, man. <laughs> Peep that cufflink, man. Man, that's tough. Cufflinks. We have the pocket square. And I have on a pair of charcoal gray slacks, guys. Incorporate more slacks, guys, in your fragrance wardrobe. Or maybe some chinos, man. Then you don't have to wear jeans all the time. I wear jeans, y'all know that. You don't have to wear jeans all the time. Incorporate some slacks, or some say trousers, or whatever name you want to put on it. Chinos, or some say khakis, man. Set yourself apart a little bit. This outfit with the charcoal gray slacks, I would step out with them Chelsea boots. For me, I love Chelsea boots. You don't have to. You can go with a monk strap shoe, or even a lace-up shoe, because of the trousers can go dressy. They can go both ways, all right? All right, man, that's it. Again, thanks for taking time out today to watch my video. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Peace.